Yesterday was Thursday work day and Eric was here. Rain did threaten, but we got in quite a bit of work. And here's a little bit of a review of my garden. Take a look. We're not keeping it. We're not going to keep it. No. We got a lot, right? A lot. Yeah. Let's trash it. So Eric has just been clearing off all of the brown blooms on the camellias that are finished and it looks so much nicer. You know there's a lot more white blooms this year. Not too many? Not as many last year, no. There's more this year because I see a lot of buds still that haven't opened. We did not prune these camellia bushes this year and that's why they're so huge and have so many buds. All these oranges are ripe, and I'm going to have Eric take off most of them because when I leave them, they have a tendency to dry out on the tree and are inedible. Let me put it in the compost. It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, it looks great. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, for the compost. Yeah, go. Yeah, go do that. I'm not sure what's going on with this artichoke. It just keeps putting out beautiful leaves, but no stalks yet. And the nasturtium, right on cue, is popping up all over. Another reason I want to lighten the load on this orange tree is because this is the time when the citrus starts budding out. So this has been the coolest February in history almost. And yet, my daikon radishes bolted practically before my eyes. I looked out here, they looked fabulous a week ago, and two days ago I noticed that they bolted and I stuck my hand down there and there's no, there's no radish down in the, in the soil. So I'm not sure what I did wrong, but um, at least I'll have flowers for the beneficials. Society garlic, parsley, volunteer borage, parsley, which I bought at the nursery, volunteer nasturtium, and I got one tomato <laughs> from last year hanging on. These walkways are so saturated, absolutely soaked. Our hummingbirds are out today. The leaves are a little bit yellow, but I think that's just because it's just been continuously wet. By the way, my nursery claims that this apple tree is self-pollinating. So, fingers crossed. Now, we haven't had many bees because guess what? This has been the coldest February in 60 years. The temperature has not gotten over 70 degrees. Compare that to the last three years, where we had temperatures of 88 and 90 degrees in January. <laughs> and of course, we did not have all of that rain we've had. Lots of things are blooming, but I don't see a lot of bees. Bees and butterflies really don't fly until it's between 52 and 55 degrees. They just don't come out. Although I've got all these blooms on this apple tree, I haven't seen any bees on all that pollen. And those blooms are gorgeous. Take a look. My new apple tree is absolutely loaded with blooms.
And I did my first live stream from right here this morning on Facebook. I know you're not all on Facebook, but if you are on Facebook, please go to Late Bloomer Show and check out the live stream I did this morning. I actually think we've seen the last of my cranberry hibiscus. It seemed to be alive this far down, but um, nothing has budded out at all. Oh, and here's the bok choy. Definitely a brassica flower. This is woodland strawberry, which is a California native ground cover. And I've got it all growing in here. It doesn't make fruit because there's not any sun over here, but it makes nice little vines and leaves, covers the ground. See, it's coming down over here. That looks better. This is lemon balm, and it was looking pretty bad. We've got to get that cleaned out today. Oh, whoops. These are starting to fall off because of all the rain. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, organic. Do you want to take some? Yes, please. Yeah. Oh, I mean, take some take for your in your good, bag. Good orange juice and uh, yeah. Vitamin C. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. lot of energy. Right. Take a uh, couple. I, I can take a couple of over there. This is for you. Okay. Okay. Take a couple of lemons too, because I've got a bunch of ripe ones there. Really ripe. Really big ones. Look at this. Look at the size of this. Oops, I shouldn't have pulled that off. I should not have pulled that off. Now I'm going to have to use it. Look at the size of that Meyer lemon. Beautiful. Come grab these two, Eric. Oh, this is already full. Yeah, take it. Nice haircut. Haircut. Yeah. <laughs> Just take off the dead ones. Okay. Yeah. See, no, it's dead. Ooh. Oh, yes, it is dead. Oh, it's dead. Mm. Maybe die. Yeah. See, fifty percent that. Okay. Just cut that whole thing. Yeah. Oh. It did. Oh. Maybe it did. Yep. So. Mhm. Mm Good. That's what we want. It may not last long, but there's still buds on it. What do we got? Yeah, it's some kind of little problem creature. It's a decomposer. We have a problem. Uh oh. In here. A lot of them. Well, the problem is the DE is it's too um, wet for the DE. It won't help. Let's not worry about it. was easy. I'm pretty sure this cranberry hibiscus is dead, so. Uh, yeah. Are you ready? <laughs> yes. Are you ready? Yes. Obviously it's dead. It wouldn't pull out like that if it wasn't. Ooh. Oh. It looks like it's rotted. It's rotted. Yeah. Ooh, 
somebody eat the root, the heart. Oh. See? This termites, is, right? right? The, this is, is termite. termites. Is that termites? Termite. I never seen like this. Wow. This is the problem. I knew there was a See? problem. See? Yeah. yeah. See my finger? Okay, everybody, tell me what you think this is, because I don't know. Is it these things? Yes. These worm things? See? Oh, my gosh. You want to find the, the termite? Termite? Maybe this That's not a termite, though. No. Yeah. That's it's a... start eating yeah. on the roof. Yeah. See? Okay. See? All right, let's... And, and what's left has got a lot of that. Oof. So the fig tree is just starting to bud out. This is the first time I've grown leeks, so it looks like the bottom is right here. So this may be late to be mounding them up, but we're going to do it anyway. More dirt? More dirt. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's good for today. It's and then the same thing here. Let me tell you something. The, the rook, the, the guava, the, it kill all the plant in the, in the bottom. See? Wow. All, all, all this kill it. I thought the pineapple guava roots went deep, but it, they don't go deep. See? see? Oh my goodness. See? You can see so, the, the plant. So this is why the comfrey all died. The comfrey was supposed to be beneficial and it's all disappeared. All we had four plants here and that's all that's left. All the water. This is like dry. Dry. And it rained all it day. Rained all day. See? See? Wow, the, the guava is just sucking it all up. Yeah. The, the wow. guava like it, leave it alone. <laughs> yeah, it says, I want my space and nothing else can nothing. live here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out, Eric. Okay. All right, well, I was wondering why the comfrey died. Put it the trash. Okay. Once again, the best way to support this channel is to become a monthly patron at Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Late Bloomer Show. You will find my page. And that is the very best way to support this channel because that way I know how much money I'm going to be making and that tells me how much I can be spending on my channel. I spend money for a sound editor. When I travel, of course, I have travel expenses. And I would love to go back to Phoenix because there's so many more people I haven't met that I want to meet there. Anyway, thanks so much for your support, for liking my videos and sharing them. And I will see you in the next video. Oh, I saw a bee. Oh, there's a bee. If you enjoyed this video, try these. And don't forget to subscribe to Late Bloomer Show on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And Pinterest, but, uh... Make it easy.